Hello everybody, it is Aaron from Live Trains with another rail recap. Let's get into it. All right, so our topic video today takes place at TNO in Houston, Texas on November 28, 2023, where we have this black truck go right onto the tracks and get stuck right there on the diamond. Talk about almost having a very, very bad day. Luckily, they're able to get off. Big credit goes to Abel for giving us an alert to take a look at the footage. So pretty crazy. I, I will say I it's pretty easy to get disordered orientated there i think if you've never been to that intersection uh, but you tell me what you think you think they were drunk just simply lost put it in the comments i'd love to hear what you guys think all right moving over to tower 26 where we catch Union Pacific's Western Pacific 1983 Heritage Unit with somewhat of a rare lash up. It's a KCSM Grey Ghost and a Ferramex unit. All right, moving over to St. Louis, we see a Norfolk Southern Herzog Rock Train dimming its lights for an eastbound Union Pacific coal train. You know, I see meets like this on camera. I think to myself, dude, I, I couldn't plan it better. You know, it, I can't imagine directing two trains to give me the perfect shot. And when it happens right in front of the camera, it's always a cool surprise for us. Back over to TNO on a rainy day, we see a short BNSF train with Norfolk Southern ES40 DC number 7563 leading Long Hood Ford. The containers on this train are from Barber's Cut Container Terminal located at the Port of Houston. This is BNSF's new intermodal service to Denver and Dallas Fort Worth from the Port of Houston, uh, which started up in June of 2023. It makes somewhat of a strange move where it backs up onto UP's West Belt sub to head south along BNSF's McAllister.
In St. Louis, we see a UP train with several more retired UP SD9043 Max. We've seen quite a few of these passing our St. Louis cameras going somewhere. We, we don't know, but if you know, put it inside the comments. We'd love to know. Back at Tower 26, of course, in Houston, Texas, we see the meet of the locals. Here we see CP Casey going back to Kendleton Yard, having just exchanged cars with Union Pacific at Setegas Yard. A southbound Union Pacific train takes the Lion Street connector track. It passes a work block where work is being done on many of the switches and control points there at Carr Street Junction. And the last one to conclude our recap, we catch a monster Union Pacific intermodal train led by three UP motors bound for Kansas City. As always, guys, catch you next time.